Hi, I'm Skyler. Changing access privileges or permissions on a Mac can be easy. It's not necessarily a nightmare. The reason I say this is that I deal with a lot of aperture libraries. And aperture libraries especially contain nests of folders. So if you change, say, the permissions on the top level folder, it doesn't necessarily affect everything beneath it. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll select a library here and hold down Command and press I in order to get info. So here at the bottom, I see the permissions or privileges of who can access the, the item and how. If I click the lock here, it asks me to enter my password. And now I can change who's got access to what and what they can do. So if I go in here, for example, and change this to read only, the thing about that, with certain, with certain folder structures, it might not change everything that it has to change for you to access the things you want to. So how do you fix that? Dun, 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 dun. Batch mod. This is such a great program. A genius showed me this. And it has really saved me on a number of occasions. It allows you to change permissions en masse without using the terminal. It's very easy to use. So check out the website and remember that. Okay, It's free. I'm going to open up batch mod now. Simple, super simple interface. I'm going to take this right here. This is a package. And I drop it right there. So you'll notice about the batch mod interface that it's super, super simple. OK, I'm going to click File and add the file I want. In this case, this photo stream album. Over here on the left, I see Owner. And this will show me the three different users on the computer. I can also change it to, to root if I want. And you see there are a lot of different options. It's a really powerful program. I can easily change the group and everyone. Right now, we see that the owner is Skyler. And he has read, write, access. And also, the group staff has those things. We don't want everyone to be able to access all of the things in the file. And what we're going to do right here is apply to enclosed folders and files. Good. Click Apply. Are you sure you want to make these changes? Yes. Type in your administrator password, and it's done. It's fast, and now you'll be able to access it. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.